consumer alert now about fake iPads. Tonight, one woman explains how she got taken. It happened at a gas station near Highway 360 in Southeast Green Oaks. NBC 5 Scott Gordon is there for us tonight. What happened, Scott? Well, Christy, you know, people who have iPads love them. A lot of people who don't have them want them. So when a guy showed up at this gas station offering to sell one at a bargain price, it sounded almost too good to be true. And it was. We're actually at pump nine. Jelante Freeman pulled into the gas station with her sister and mother when they met a stranger. He pulled up beside us and he was like, hey, you know, I have some iPads and stuff and I got a laptop. Y'all, you know, interested in looking and buying some or whatever. He was offering to sell a brand new $800 iPad for just $200. With Christmas coming up, she thought it sounded too good to pass up. And he was like, okay, I got to hurry up and go and stuff. And he drove off. Her sister then opened the package. If he turned it on the back, it actually looks like an Apple iPad. And when you turn it to the front, it actually like the prices and stuff. And when she was turning, it's a mirror. That's right. It's a mirror about the size of an iPad wrapped up to look like one. That's messed up. That's so wrong. Like, I would never do anybody like that. Get a job. I just started cussing. I was, I was upset. Like, anybody would be upset if you just felt like you got scammed by somebody. You know what I'm saying? You just lost $200. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so stupid. Like. I just basically got robbed. She says she's learned her lesson. Don't buy nothing on the streets from nobody again. NBC5 reported on this exact same thing happening this time last year in Dallas. Police tell us this, kind of, this type of scheme always picks up in the weeks leading up to Christmas. Reporting live in Arlington, Scott Gordon, NBC5. All right, thanks, Scott. We are still.